McKendry, it's Pastor Cindy. Every Sunday, we have been providing these all ministry, members in ministry forms in worship, and we're, and we're doing that throughout this, this month of September. And it's gotten me thinking about the first time that I became involved in a church in an official way. Ed and I had been visiting this church in Missouri, and um, uh, they asked me to serve as the at-large member of the administrative council. I didn't fill out something on the form. They just asked me to do that. And I remember at the time thinking, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Go to a committee meeting once a month. I don't know if I have an hour a month to give. But, but I decided to go ahead and do it. I would come home after the meetings on Sunday evenings. I'd be so, so frustrated. I'm just like, Ed, every month they talk about the same things over and over and over again. I think the conversation that drove me the craziest was every month, Susie Evangelist would come into the meeting and she would say, we need to have a website. I keep reading about how people, when they're trying to find a church, when they, they when they're trying to find a church, they don't look at the yellow pages anymore. They don't they don't look at the ads in the newspaper anymore. They go to websites and and we need a website. And every month, Fred Finance would answer back, "We don't have any money for a website." She would come in every month saying reasons why we need a website, and every month he would say, "There's no money." And one, son, one month she came in and, and she said, you know, the United Methodist Church is saying they'll give us the web space. They'll give us the web space. And Fred Finance was like, we don't have any money to pay someone to make a web, web page on that web space. And back and forth, back and forth every month. Finally, finally, I was so disgusted that I said, I'll do it. I'll make a website for the church on that space that the denomination gives us. I make web pages for my students. It's not much more than the syllabus, but I can figure this out. So I went to the library. I went to the library and I got a book on how to build a website. And some of you are laughing right now at the very idea of going to the library and getting a book on how to build a website. But that's the way I did things. That's the way I did things back then. And I did get a book and I put together a website in the next month at the administrative council. I was able to share, okay, here is our website. Here's our website. And it was a very simple website and um, had some pictures, that kind of thing. And, and just a, a decent, decent website. One of the things that book had said in the book was a good website has content that changes over time. So people will come back to see what's new. And I kept thinking about that. How can I make some content that changes every, every, every time they come back? And so I started thinking about that and I was like, well, something that changes every week, there's a different sermon. So I would, um, on Sundays, I started taking notes during the sermon. This was back before there were recordings of sermons and, and back before there were videos or podcasts with sermons. And so every month, every Sunday morning, I would take down notes. And then on Sunday afternoon, I would just write down my notes. A lot of times I would write down the lyrics of a, of a song that we sang or, or the words to a hymn that were related, related. And um, I had this idea, well, I know that uh, a lot of people do devotions every day, so I'll just write a little bit related to that for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And so on Sunday afternoon, I just kind of write a paragraph that you could read on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'd look at my Bible at the back, there was an index, and I'd try and find verses related to the scripture for that Sunday that, that would also be related for the coming week. And um, I'll just say that God used that. And um, this person who came in, not really open to God being part of my life, just wanting to, to have a church where my children my children would experience what I'd experienced growing up, the love of a, of a church family surrounding them, that um, I became much more open. I started paying attention more. I started thinking 
The sermon was about more than just a peaceful time, but maybe had something to do with me on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And the next year when the members and ministry form came out, um, I signed up for several things. And uh, the friendships that came out of that, uh, still, still so important to me. Uh, the people that I met serving in those teams. Um, the ways that I served, uh, God used those in some amazing, amazing ways to, to change me, to change me and to, to help me, to help me grow in who I am and grow in, in understanding of, of God. It just made a tr diff tremendous difference. Um, all of which is to say, I hope you'll think about this. And also, also, I was thinking about how um, what I offered, I'll make a website, that wasn't on the sheet. That wasn't on the sheet. And maybe you have some kind of unique gift that you'd be willing to share. Uh, maybe you're good at talking on the phone. Maybe when you turn in your sheet, you can just write that in one of those blank spaces on the back. I'm good at talking on the phone. You'd be surprised. You should be surprised how the church could use that and, and how God could use that to, to help somebody. Maybe you're good at taking pictures with your phone or making little video clips. Uh, Maybe you're good at baking bread or good at gardening. You know when to prune a, a tree and when not to, or just how to spread spread pine straw. Uh, maybe maybe there's something that you enjoy that you might be, be willing to share. Maybe you're thinking to yourself, Cindy, Pastor Cindy does some crazy things in worship. I like crazy things in worship and I'll bet I can come up with some crazy things in worship. Let let us know. We love help. Love would love some help coming up with some good ideas for worship, crazy ideas for worship that help us to hear and see God's word in a different way, in a new way. Um, maybe maybe what's not on this sheet is a ministry that that you're feeling a tug on your heart. Uh, maybe you're thinking, we need some ministry for seniors, and I want to help that. We need some ministry for men, and I want to help with that. Or, I love to walk. I'd like to start a group that just, just walks and gets to know one another and, and maybe just says a prayer as we start off to remind us that um, that this day, this walk, is is a time of knowing that God is with us. So, um, I hope you'll fill out the sheet. I hope you'll trust that God would use every gift to change who we are, and God would use every gift to, to build up the church as, as God promises in Scripture. But um, I hope you'll especially, if you've thought of, of something the church needs or you've got a gift that's not on here, and I mean crazy gifts too, it's just, you know, I, I hope you'll add those, add those to the sheet. Um, I hope you'll add those to the online form, to the, to the, to the website form in and, and some way. And, and just, just let us know, just let us know, um, I got this gift. I've got this dream, I've got this hope, and I want to be part of it. And uh, maybe it's that you just are willing to go to the library and get a book. Get a book for somebody. Get a book to help. Or you're willing to research. Or you got a job. Or you're a lawyer. You'll help the church with contracts. Or you got a job. and, and Or you had a job. You're retired. And you used to train committees on on train, train teams on how to have effective committee member meetings and, and maybe you're willing to share how to have an effective committee meeting. Whatever it is, whatever it is, we always trust. We always trust that God can use whatever we give to God in ways so much more than we ever expect. I love you, McKendry. I am thankful for you and I am thankful to be your pastor.